allow your mind for a moment to go deep into the history of humankind. Hundreds of thousands of years ago, when we were roaming the savannas, trying to survive, everything around us was trying to kill us, and we were hiding in shelters not as safe as the ones we have today. And tell me, as a survival strategy, does it make sense for us to, every day when the sun sets, to go to sleep for about eight hours? To me, it makes no sense whatsoever, unless this strange behavior is so critical to our survival and functioning that it even overrides the danger of the outside world. In the lab I'm in, this is exactly what we are studying. Why sleep is important and what happens if we lose it. In 2020, the lab published an uh, interesting discovery. Uh, that is, why is sleep loss lethal? You can see in the schematic labeled as A, they used the common fruit fly, Drosophila melanogaster, because Drosophila sleeps just like humans do, and they used some genetic tricks to make it not sleep. They saw that the animals that do not sleep, they die prematurely, and they figure out a reason why they die. And you can see in the schematic, the reason is this huge accumulation of inflammatory molecules located in the gut. You can see the gut of the sleep-deprived animal just lights up uh, in, in inflammation. Now, to my particular line of research, I study an exception to what they discovered. I study a particular type of fly called fumin mutant fly, and you can see it uh, schematically uh, labeled as B. And this fly barely ever sleeps, but somehow manages to live a long and happy life, protected, as you can see, from the deadly inflammation in the gut. We have some kind of idea of what might be going on because this fly has a kink in its genes that messes up how this molecule called dopamine is recycled and transported in the organism. So we are trying to understand the dopamine role in sleep and protection against the negative effects of sleep loss. We study sleep because we want to understand ourselves. We want to know how we get sick and how we recover. Sleep loss has been linked throughout the years with many diseases like depression and diabetes, and understanding it on a fundamental level will help us overturn the negative consequences of sleep loss. And it also might give us a clue of how it helped us survive all those horrible, horrible years when we were roaming the dangerous savannas.